Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Banksy. I'm back again guys. Today we're talking about spam or we're talking about best practices. Depends how you, you look at it. Here's what's happening guys. Recently YouTube and by extensions its networks have had to cut down on and crack down, pardon me, on individuals that use spammy practices, create fake channels, etc, etc. I'm not suggesting nor implying that you guys are doing that because you're not. Because you're watching this video and you probably got a channel. But we did to get a whole bunch of indicators. We got 38 indicators that help you either avoid getting trapped or red flagged by YouTube, even if you don't mean it, or you know what, just give you some best practices and things to watch out for. Now, before I go on here, I'm going to tell you that you should definitely go to www.spam.tm, input your channel URL there, and run a just run it and see what it comes back with. I ran my personal channel and I got a 4% spam rating. Bad, Curtis. Oops. So anyways, we're going to talk about all those indicators over time here and uh, let's get right into this. Okay, here we go. Here's the first major spam indicator coming up. All right, guys, the first and probably the most egregious thing that some of these spam people are doing, and they're doing this quite deliberately, is creating bad copycat channels. I will reiterate, I realize that you are not doing this, but you could be affected by this. There are two major ways that you could be affected. One, if you have a really popular channel, and you know what, it's easier than say if like, let's just use, I don't know, uh, Sky Does Minecraft, right? He's got like 11 million or 14 million viewers. Well, it's pretty easy for another channel to come along, create the exact same channel and just change the name with like an apostrophe or an underscore or a symbol or something like that. Take his videos, take his channel art, take his about us section, take his thumbnails, all those things, download them and then re-upload them on their channel. Not only is that fraudulent, but it is taking those views away that should be going to his channel, they're going to that other channel because YouTube doesn't really know which one of those is the original content creator. This could be happening to you if you have a popular channel. Secondly, and probably more, eh, more probably, that sounded wrong, but whatever. Um, if you guys post content that is time sensitive, let me give you an example. Fallout 4 launches at midnight on a Tuesday. You post your first Let's Play at 12.15. You get that stuff up, it's up. There are people out there scanning, looking for that type of content, stealing it through an online YouTube downloader tool, and then re-uploading it on their channel. They're getting the views that you deserve. So guys, keep a lookout for that, especially if you do time-sensitive stuff. Now, with all of that being said, here is one thing that you might want to look at, is unsubscribing or Hiding your subscriber count. That's the better way to put it, guys. Individual channels that are hiding their subscriber counts are getting flagged and looked at by YouTube. It is not something that is illegal or bad to do. It isn't, but it sort of sends off a red flag because if there are two equal channels, like let's say there's I does I Minecraft, whatever, I Sky Minecraft, whatever the hell his name is, and then I Sky Minecraft hyphen underscore, and they've got everything the same, and then one channel has their subscriber count uh, hidden because they're doing bad things, it is getting stopped by YouTube and getting looked at, guys. So that's one thing you might want to look at. If your subscriber count is hidden, and I don't even know how the hell to do it, but if you're doing that, you may want to reconsider based on what I've told you here, just because of YouTube and some of the network's policies, the fact that those send up red flags. Guys, that's it for today's video. I hope this info helps. There are another 37 more things that channels are doing that you may want to consider that we will talk about in future episodes. This is your boy Bixie checking out. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.